Satkam sa dahas tawar aw mga sudan navalokin. Amatan binduay hata hata ekay hata dahay hata. Novel coronavirus claimed its 15th victim today, just two days after the country lost another life to the virus. The victim was a 56-year-old resident of the area of Unalia in Kuliapitiya. He had reportedly been admitted to the Kuliapitiya Teaching Hospital on the 14th of October for treatment of a heart ailment and was transferred to the intensive care unit two days later. According to the Department of Government Information, the victim had also been suffering from kidney disease. Director of the Kuliapitiya Teaching Hospital, Dr. Prabhat Veravatta, said that the 56-year-old had been receiving treatment at the time the 14th COVID-19 victim was also transferred to the ICU. The final rites of the victim was conducted at the Kuliapitiya Municipal Council crematorium. In the meantime, 201 fresh COVID-19 infections were confirmed in the island today. This was after the country reported its highest daily COVID-19 infections yesterday with 865 new infections. Previously, the highest number of infections were reported on the 6th of October with 739 confirmed cases. Out of the 865 infections confirmed yesterday, 535 were cases linked to the Paliagoda fish market, 20 from the Beirula Fisheries Harbour, 5 from the Gulf Fisheries Harbour, 48 from quarantine centres and the remaining 257 were identified as associates. Meanwhile, the 535 positive patients reported in relation to the Paliagoda fish market were identified as residents of Vellampitiya, Makkola, Kotahena, Bambalipitiya, Hokandara, Matakulia, Kolonnava, Kalania, Paliagoda, Angoda, Peta, and from 100 other areas. The largest cluster that we have experienced recently is the Brandix cluster. It has by now more than 2,700 cases. And also as an extension from this cluster, we have identified the cluster in the Paleocoda fish market, more than 772 cases that we have identified there. This Paleocoda cluster that is very unique, that is because the most of the people that all over the country come in here to either to sell fish or buy fish. By now we have identified many cases, other districts and other areas, even some remote areas from the Colombo that is being infected with COVID-19 because they have visited the Paliagoda fish market. So we are now identifying all the potential cases and doing the PCR testing and detecting more and more cases and we expect that more and more cases will be reporting today as well as in coming days. But to prevent this type of clusters appearing and also to control these clusters, what we have to do is we have to stay as much as possible in the home, you should not come to the society unnecessarily and also if you are coming that you should wear a face mask properly and should wash your hands with soap and water and also that you should maintain the physical distance of one meter when you come out to the society. Meanwhile, the Nugegoda public fair was temporarily closed today after confirming that the owner of two fish stalls had contracted the COVID-19 virus. The Kote Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Manoj Rodrigo, said that the owners of the shops, a father and a son, had visited the Paliagoda fish market. Elsewhere, the Trincomalee fish market was temporarily closed today after six persons were diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus. In another development, after a fishmonger in Valigama was diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus recently, two of his assistants have also tested positive. Health authorities took measures to direct the duo to the Hambantota Hospital. Public health inspectors in Egodoida, meanwhile, took measures to direct a fishmonger who had been engaged in door-to-door -door fish sales in Panadura to a quarantine facility. In other developments, health authorities took steps to quarantine 200 persons from 60 families in the area of Godakavala and Kahavatta. In the meantime, three fishmongers in the area of Mogama and Ratnapura were confirmed as COVID-19 patients after they had reportedly visited the Paliagoda fish market. They were directed to the National Institute of Infectious Diseases in Angoda last night. Meanwhile, another COVID-19 patient was reported from Tungkama and was also identified as having visited the Paliagoda fish market. As a result of this, health authorities took measures to direct around 40 people in several areas including Tungkama, Padalangala, Kuttigala and Amilipitiya for self-quarantine and conducted PCR tests on 25 relatives of the COVID-19 infected patient. Elsewhere, two employees of a fish stall in the area of Diyatalava who had brought fish from the Paliguda fish market were also diagnosed with the virus. Due to this, the fish shop was closed and eight associates, including the owner of the shop, were placed under self-quarantine. In another development, after a doctor at the district-based hospital in Rikil Gaskanda was diagnosed with COVID-19, the hospital was temporarily closed. The doctor, who is a resident of Kalania, had reportedly visited the Paliguda fish market. 
In the meantime, steps were taken to close all fish stalls in the Kandy public market today after lorries carrying fish from the Paliagoda fish market were reported to have visited the Kandy public market fish stalls. In other developments, steps have been taken to isolate the Gulavita North and South, Vedavatta, Magurumas Villa and Makalandava Gramaniladara divisions in the Velalvita Divisional Secretariat Division in the Kaluthara district until further notice. Meanwhile, the curfew that was imposed in the Payagala, Beerola and Aludgama police areas in the Kalutar district will continue until 5 a.m. on Monday the 26th. In another development, Commander of the Sri Lanka Army, Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva, announced that a curfew will be imposed on the police areas of Gothatua and Muleriava in Colombo from 7 p.m. tonight. Accordingly, curfew has been imposed on a total of 10 police areas within Colombo so far.